Jain students and uh, welcome to uh, another lesson. It's the same lesson ex actually, a truly beautiful mind and uh, I hope you have finished the uh, summary writing. Now let's discuss, I want to discuss a few question answers with you which you need to uh, jot it down in your fair notebook with blue fountain ink and uh, you, do, you do not have to write the same answers but you can definitely take include the important points from these on sample answers that I have given so uh, let us see the author talks about two important letters that Einstein wrote one to President Franklin D Roosevelt and the other to the United Nations what prompted Einstein to write these letters what impact did they make so I told you uh, during the years uh, of the World War II, so uh, Einstein had written these letters and what were they for and why did he write them and what impact did it have. So uh, the solution is at the insistence of a colleague, <coughs> Einstein wrote a letter to the American president. Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1939 warning him that the atomic bomb if made and used by Germany could not only destroy the whole port on which it could be dropped but also the territory surrounding it. The impact of the letter was both deep and rapid as the Americans on knowing about this knowledge secretly developed their own atomic bomb which were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In Japan in 1945. So in spite of asking, uh, warning about the consequence, they uh, took it as a piece of information and used it against their enemy uh, during that time, which was Japan. And what uh, in 1945. The large scale damage caused by these bombings on Japan perturbed Einstein so much that he wrote a letter to the United Nations. It really disturbed him, it really moved him. He was shaken back because uh, after witnessing the devastation that it had caused. Because the entire uh, cities were destroyed, those towns were entirely demolished because of the atomic bomb. You can see the video of it in YouTube also if you want. In this, so because of that he wrote a letter, a letter a request to the United Nations. In this letter he proposed that there should be only one government in the world. This would put an enmity to end to enmity because yeah if there is no enmity there is no hatred against each other because uh, every uh, all everyone's human after all so there will be an end to all war so uh, he asks that there be only one government uh, so that this can be stopped this would to ultimately put an end to the massacres, killings caused in the wars. But this letter did not have any impact because it is actually an almost impossible task to combine the all so many nations into one. Uh, it may be possible in future but even now in the year to 2020 the chances seem very very bleak of this happening uh, thus unlike the letter to roosevelt einstein's letter to the united nations failed to evoke any response whereas in the formal letter uh, as soon as uh, he had made this prediction this warning they acted on it and it helped them in defeating uh, and in emerging victorious in World War II. But uh, 
the second letter was not paid any heed to because it was almost an impossible task and an impossible request which einstein had made to the united nations let's move on to the next one i hope you have understood this one second one what is the message conveyed to the readers in the lesson a truly beautiful mind so what is the message what is the message let's see because every story every poem every prose has and every drama has a hidden message and sometimes it's not that hidden it's uh, very obvious but in some it's hidden it's symbolic a beautiful mind possesses not only innovative ideas but also makes sincere efforts to use these ideas for the well being of mankind science for the well being of mankind to have humanity for mankind because uh, science should be solely devoted to the promotion of worldwide peace and prosperity it should bring peace prosperity and happiness and if used for destructive purposes the scientific inventions and discoveries can wreak can wreak havoc on earth really it can uh, like fire even the fire it can be used to light a candle and to eliminate darkness or it can be used to burn down entire forests uh, homes houses and cause lot of destruction so it depends on humans it depends on us how we choose to utilize the tools and the elements of the world how do we choose do we choose to live with hatred or we choose to live in peace and harmony i hope you make the right, right choice Next question what important lesson do you learn from the biographical sketch of the great scientist einstein so what are the lessons do you learn what are the lessons can we learn from this great scientist uh, obviously there is a the theory of relativity you can learn and you can apply in your physics but let's see the lessons students should be provided with liberal and conducive environment so that they feel encouraged to think originally and their ideas may find nourishment so that is what lesson we can learn that students should be given uh, all the necessary means by which they can sharpen and through which they can increase their knowledge so that because even your brain needs nourishment it's not only your health and your body but your brain and your mind also needs the right type of atmosphere the right type of nutrition the right type of values ideas and knowledge for it to develop like einstein einstein felt much suppressed in his school in munich and moved to switzerland and obviously he went to the playground of the world to study you know the playground of the world yeah that's switzerland because it's famous for skiing and the beautiful alps his talent bloomed into the liberal environment of the university in zurich so his talent bloomed out there because he found the correct environment the right environment for him to expand his horizons for him to expand his knowledge for him to study without any restraints the life of einstein thus inspires in us the values of sincere work devotion to humanity selfless service of mankind and love of peace so this is what it inspires us because uh he made an attempt to unify the world he made the gesture of peace love and harmony and it is because of his research and his dedica- dedication to science that he had made such discoveries for which he was awarded with the nobel prize too next question is the title a truly beautiful mind appropriate is it correct is it justifiable give reasons to justify your answer so this title to the chapter to the story to the biography is it correct or not do you think he was a truly beautiful mind 
what do you think well for pers- personally if you ask me there are many great minds and but truly beautiful mind symbolizes not only intelligence but humanity too the title is appropriate as it encompasses both the intelligence of einstein and his love for peace and harmony that is the fact because there are scientists uh, who are very very intelligent but they use all their intelligence for uh, finding something or for using it for war and destructive causes you know like finding viruses and all instead of finding things which can benefit humans there are some associations which are funding the wrong things and which are creating uh things which will hamper the environment so that is not good exactly so we should use our knowledge our skills and our talent for the benefit of mankind and our mother nature instead of destroying her so as a genius he meant he made an immense a big contribution to the world of science by presenting startling theories it is because of him that we understand physics much better now and as a human being he preached for peace and democracy even after being uh, considered the you know highest uh, the highest award in field of science the nobel prize for physics he used it for the good cause thus his mind was really beautiful and teeming with new ideas and human concern and uh, in spite of his busy schedule he was very very concerned about the world about the destruction in japan about the harmful effects of atomic bombs and he didn't want such bloodshed and science to be used for the wrong purpose okay let's look at the next question last question for today why does the world remember einstein as a world citizen he was considered a world citizen why is it so why do you think is it because he cared for the world or is it because even though he lived in germany he uh, went to switzerland and then again he moved to america what is the answer so the world remembers einstein as a world citizen because towards the later part of his life he strived for the peace and well-being of the entire world and not just his own country so that is the correct fact he didn't want only germany or america to be peaceful and harmonious but he wanted the entire world to be peaceful and harmonious he was no longer solely a scientific genius but a visionary as well he had a vision for a global community he felt that the solution to enmity between the countries was a world government yes there should be a linking factor a relation a good relation between the countries and if all can be brought under one roof under one government uh, obviously the boundaries national boundaries and all the hate and all the violence would evaporate that was his central idea towards writing a letter to the united nations so that such enmity the enmity between people would be destroyed so even though hasn't taken play that hasn't taken place but still in indian tradition and culture we believe in the sanskrit saying vasudeva kutumbakam one world family and we and that that actually diminishes diminishes all the uh, hatred for others and it tells us that however they look whatever they are they are also 
our family because we are humans after all and not only humans everything is living so every everything uh, everyone is a part of our self so that much for now thank you students for watching the video i hope you have uh, understood the lesson more thoroughly and uh, you will finish the question answers you will update it you will learn it and you will take the snapshot and send it to me as soon as possible if you want those extra grades okay thank you for now please like and subscribe jai